evening my lovely friends of this amazing group thank you so much for uh, always showing up always giving your feedbacks and all that you do okay uh, that's why we do this so today as you see I'm sitting in my yoga chair and all you need is a chair make sure the chair has four legs and two sides like this that you can touch. So this is all we need. Hi, Coco. Hi. Mwah. Miss you, my friend. So we're gonna do. We're gonna have everything today in this practice. So if you're just looking for more of a centering, we're gonna have some centering. We're gonna have some grounding. We're gonna have some stretch. Stretch. We're gonna have some strengthening. Even a little bit core if you want to do it. You don't have to do any of those. Okay. You can jump over. You can sit down and relax. All right. So let's start. This is gonna take probably 35 around that uh, around that time. So we're gonna start on centering and grounding. So sit in your chairs, and I'm gonna bring my chair back after so you can see what I'm doing. So first of all, we're just gonna ground ourselves. Noticing where you are in space, so close your eyes, check in with your sit bones, make sure your feet is on the floor. Hi, Lori! Hi, soon enough is you! Cannot wait for row yoga tonight. I'm sore too, especially the front of my legs. Okay, so sit bones grounding on the chair. We're gonna roll the shoulders just a couple times so you notice where they are. Now, hands on your laps. Relaxing here, your shoulders high, Moi. And then let's close our eyes and do some circling with the neck. And as you're doing this, we're grounding ourselves with our breath. So circling, slowly letting the breath, maybe it's the first time you're taking deep breaths today, so allow the breath to reach your lungs. I'm gonna tie my hair because I know it's gonna bother me. All right, grab your chairs if you're just showing up. Don't forget, grab your chairs. It's not an easy practice. It can be easy if you want to and can be really challenged if you allow it to be, okay? All right, as you now notice where your body is in space, you checked in and you're aware of your deep breaths. We're gonna bring the right hand on the side of the chair. If for you is the left, you can just mirror me. The other arm is gonna go up and you're gonna stretch all the way if you wanna bend that other arm and then we stretch to the other side. And then again, keep that spine long. We stretch to one side. Take a deep breath in and out again. Oh, it feels good on my sides. Now here, just bring hands so one hand goes to the back of your chair or to the side here in the arm of the chair. The other hand can be in your leg and you're gonna find an easy twist. Roll the shoulders, be very gentle because in the beginning of the class, we usually don't do twists, but you can be very gentle in this one. And then the other side. And then we bring back. Now, separate your feet let your hips stretch where it feels comfortable and then you're gonna go down to the floor now release here you need to allow your hips to be relaxed as you go down to the floor with your head relax your head yes and no opening hips make sure your feet is still on the ground and then here left fingertips stay right arm can reach up for another twist and then you reach to the other side and then coming slowly back up, bringing your hands to the back of your chair, maybe kiss elbows. I'm not saying you're gonna be able to, it's really hard, I can't. So bring the elbows to get closer together. It looks so weird looking at the phone. Open up the chest, keep sending your heart forward, take another breath. All right, all right. Our centering and little stretch time is over. Bring your chair to your mat. Make sure the chair is not slipping. If you have a wall, then you can bring the chair against the wall. Perfect, that would be great. So now, I want your chair. You're gonna be facing your chair and there's still space in your mat behind you because we're gonna use the whole thing. We're gonna do some sun salutations here with the chair. So the chair is gonna be a prop 
and a helper and a tool for us. We're going to reach the arms up. We're going to exhale, fold all the way towards your chair. Bring your hands to your chair, lengthen the spine. Exhale, come closer with your forehead in the chair. And then inhale, press again, and then coming all the way up. Take one more of those. Exhale, fold. Lengthen in the spine, and then fold over, forehead going down towards the chair, lengthen in the spine. Now here, keep your right foot forward and step your left all the way back to a lunge with your hands in the chair, sinking the hips. Take a deep breath in, sending your butt back and straighten the front leg. As you surrender your back heel down, we're going to bend again the knee, open up the chest, and then exhale, bring it back. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, if you want to use weights in this class, we will too. You don't have to. If you want to, you can. All right, one more time. So we did four here. Now stay with that front knee, bend left hand in the chair, make sure the chair is really, it's not slippery, okay? And then the right arm goes up for a twist. Breathe. Sinking the hips if it feels fast here. All right, hand comes back to the front of your chair. Now here, from here, you just slide your back foot so you can step the other one back. I call downward facing chair. As we stretch in the arms, keep your feet, dis hips distance apart. Maybe your head is heavy. You can look between your knees here if it feels good. You can always bend your knees. Now here, we're gonna lift the heels, gently waving the spine towards the front. Keep that upper back open until you can release. Now here, it's really important that you strong in the arms and your core, especially in the arms. You're going to roll your shoulders back. If you have a problem in your wrist, you don't have to go all the way here, okay? So we're doing an upper facing chair. And then we exhale, reach all the way back again to the same downward dog. Now step the left foot to the front of the chair. Gonna go in that lunge again, sinking the hips, open up the chest, soften the breath, and then straighten the front leg, sending the butt back. And then we exhale, bending the knee and open up the heart. Again, let's do it again, sending the hips back, and then exhale forward. Let's do two more. We're just warming up here the joints, and then the last one. Now you're going to stay here, see if you can balance. The beauty about the chair is that it's easier for you to balance. Do the yoga um, poses in an easier way. We twist not so easy. I'm making a challenge, but you can use it as a tool. Reach those fingers up, take another breath, exhale. Now from here, make sure your chair is steady and step back to the same downward dog. So we're going to go through a vinyasa in the chair, lift your heels, waving as you tuck your tailbone under, popping one bone at a time from your back, and then stay in your tippy toes as you lift the chest, lengthen in the spine. Beautiful. Again, step the right foot forward. This time, drop your back heel on the mat, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands back to the floor. Ultra by your chair and then lift your left leg off the mat. Just trying to straight that front leg and then we drop again. All right, four times we're doing everything four. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, hands to the chair. We're gonna lift that left leg. Breathe, soften your shoulders. Drop your foot, inhale, lift the arms. And then again, exhale, hands down. Lift your left leg up, same leg. Last time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hands down. Now we're gonna hold a little longer this pose. All right? Trying to work into straighten that right leg. But if you feel too much in your hamstring, you can always keep a little bend. Make sure your hands, you don't have weight in your hands. The chair can be a support for balance. As you roll your shoulders and take a nice breath in. We're gonna go to another lunge as we stack that back leg all the way back. Now in this lunge, we're gonna get closer to the floor, closer to the chair maybe. Ooh, I feel it. Now you're gonna drop the back knee down and straighten the front leg. And then we bend again. 
and then straight that front leg, getting closer to the leg with arms, and lift, and going to your downward dog. Reach your butt back, roll your shoulders out, make sure your hands are comfortable, you're not sitting waiting your hands either. Maybe your heels now are finally touching the ground. Now we're gonna lift the heels and wave in this body for another here, upward, upward dog chair as you lift your chest. Deep breath in, deep breath out, guys. Now let's do the other leg. The left foot steps forward, drop your back heel on the mat, and then inhale, reach the arms up. My phone says, low battery. Uh-oh. All right, so we're in the warrior one, ready? We're gonna fold four times. We drop the hands, we lift the back leg. Exhale, drop your foot and reach the arms. Exhale, hands down, lift your leg. And then we drop again and reach the arms. Last time. And then hold it here, soften your shoulders, bring your belly in, take a nice deep breath in and off your nose. And then we step on, giant step back. So maybe your knee can move closer to the chair. And then the right hip flex, you can stretch even more. Keep rolling your shoulders. Now drop your back knee gently. And then we're gonna swing the hips back. And then forward. Again, open up the body before we do anything else. Exhale. You can lift your toes off the floor if it feels good. And then one more time, you reach back. And then forward. Now use the chair always to support. Step back, downward dog. Breathe in and out. Now the right leg, guys, I hope you have space. If you don't have space like me, I have all behind. Now try to lift that right leg all the way back and up. So downward dog split. Now it's going to start to make, I'm going to make it a little harder for you, okay? Send the weight to your hands. Make sure the, the chair is steady and bring that knee towards it between the arms. We're going to reach back again. If you feel in your hands, if your chair is really hard like mine, you can bring a cushioning or just some rags, something to support you here. Let's do... Well, did we do three already? So one more. We reach back. And then forward. And then step right here. We're gonna go to a high lunge without the hands in the chair. Reach up. Exhale, we bring the hands back. Getting closer to the chair. Inhale up. Exhale back. Two more. Exhale back. One more. And back. Now I want you to hold it here. Interlace your fingers behind you. Drop your back heel on the floor. And see if you and see if your forehead finds the chair. Maybe not today. That's okay if you can. Notice your legs. I like the chair because. I give this reminder of my neck that I can soften my head and my face. All right, ready? Right hand goes in the center of your chair where you sit. Keep the right knee bent. Open up a little bit that left leg so your toes go out. And then reach the left arm up. Ready? We're going to go to a triangle trikonasana. Now, I still have space here in my inner thigh. And I can lift and lower the left hip. Lift that right hip bone and lower that left that is on top. And then I can get closer to the, to the chair with my forearm. Breathe in and out. You guys are doing amazing. I hope you're doing with me. All right, we're gonna bend that knee again. Now, if you need the help of the chair, you can bring that hand on top or you can stay where you are and then lift that left. This is called a uh, half moon Ardha Chandrasana pose. Now if you want to go and give yourself a little bit more stretch, you can grab your foot with that hand and press your foot into your hand and open here. Breathe. One more breath. 
You have the chair to help you, remember? It's way easier this way. All right, we're gonna drop the back foot all the way, face the chair again, and go back to a downward dog. Oh, it's feeling good in my body. Lift your heels, weight in the spine, find your upper facing chair as you open up the chest. Maybe you're looking up. And then exhale. Now we're gonna go downward dog split with the left leg going up. Reach, reach, reach. Now we're gonna come forward. Again, if it doesn't feel good in your body, you don't have to do it. I'm gonna bring that knee, getting really close to the forehead, lifting the back heel, reaching back. And then exhale again, bring it forward. Remember, we're doing four times, everything kind of four times today. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale back again. We already passed four, didn't we? Step forward, spine our high lunge. Arms going up, lift your back, heel now four times. Fly the arms back and then forward and up. Breathe. Keep energizing with your core. Inhale. Two more or one more? Last one. Beautiful. Hands go down. Drop that back heel. Open more of the right toes. Not out. Left hand goes in the middle. Right arm goes all the way up. Breathe in this one. Now we're going to straight that front leg or at least try to lift that hip, drop that outer hip, and then maybe you can get closer to the floor with the left arm. And you breathe here. Trikonasana, triangle pose. See what feels good for your neck, don't force it. Okay, now you can either slide your foot or walk your hands. Do you find the balance to lift that right leg? You can stay here, loves, or you can grab your foot and press your foot into your hand. So you can open up that quad even more. That shoulder. Beautiful. Step it all the way back. And then downward dog. All right. I think our warm up is done, done, done. Should we kick it up a notch? You can stop here if that's all you need today, or you can keep going. Lift your heels, bend in the spine. Find your upper facing chair. Now from here, we're gonna use a lot of the core, ready? We're gonna lift, this is all the core. You're using the core and the arms to engage. Bring the knee, exhale, bring the knee. Exhale, bring the knee. Take three more. Make sure the breath is going out. All right, now stay here. And then step the right foot on the outside of your chair. Okay, the right side of your chair. Take the right arm and reach it up. And then now exhale that right elbow. I'm gonna try to reach towards the chair as you straighten that front leg. In and out. It's a very detoxing movement. Two, one. Step it back. Another vinyasa, roll in the spine, find your upper dog. Now again, ready? Knee for one. If you're relying on your low back, if you're not using your muscles, yeah, you're your low back can start to hurt, so make sure you're using the muscles that you need. Last one, exhale. And then step the left foot on the outside of your chair. All right, so it's the other side now. Left arm goes up. Same arm with the leg that's in front. front. Now we're gonna try to straighten the leg and squeeze the air out. Exhale. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Two, and one. Beautiful, bring your hands. Now here guys, we're gonna step in the outside. Sinking the hips. Drop your forearm, one forearm, 
whatever one you want. Let's do that stretch. Send the knees out. Bring the belly in. And then to the other side. Reach the right arm up. Breathe. Now, hands can be on the chair. You can always turn your chair if you wish to. Okay? And then we're going to sink a little bit here. Let's count for 10. Now, if you feel like your butt's going back or your knees are going forward, close your legs more. All right? Feel that your spine is sliding down the wall. Take three, two, one. Okay, now that we're going to kick it up a notch, we're going to step or jump back towards that plank. All right? We're going to do here. One, two. We're going to jump or step out. Bring the arms. And we exhale to one side. Exhale to the other side like you're pulling something from the sky. Bring your hands back to your chair. Step. One, two, jump, reach for one, two. Again, keep going. One, two, step out, reach up, exhale, and pull. Hands back. Make sure you're using all your muscles. It's always, always best to do slow, with intention, then fast. Reach, pull, pull. Let's do three more. Yes, we can. Exhale, exhale. Bring your hands back. One, two, step out. Reach. Last one. One, two, step out. Reach up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stay here. If you want to use some weights, you use some weights. Oh, those are heavy. We're gonna reach, I'm gonna just use one. We're gonna reach it up. Both hands here. We're gonna swing to one side. So this is how I'm facing. We're gonna swing to one side, swing to the other side. As we bend the elbows, you're gonna feel right away. And your obliques. I know, why am I out of breath already? Keep going. Oh my thighs, from, from our Shazam, I still feel it. Take three, and two, and one. Beautifully done. All right, hands back to your chair. We're gonna step back to the same plank. We're gonna breathe in and out. Step the left foot, not all the way closer to the chair, but in a space that is right, your foot is right underneath your hip. Hands just slightly touching the chair. Right leg goes back. Warrior three. Now maybe you can take one hand high, or maybe you're not going to use any hand right now. Stay with me, arms can go back. You can breathe in. Another breath in. One more. Now fingers can go back to the chair. And then slide that leg all the way and bring it to the top. Reach your toes out. Now here, if you want to use the weight, you can, or you're going to just do some movement. So how is this movement? Both knees are out. We're going to bend a little bit more than the one that is standing. And then the weight comes in, like if you're going down towards the chair and up to the sky. You bring down and up. We're stretching and strengthening. Down and up. Stay with me, stay with your breath. We are almost done. Exhale, inhale. Let's take two more. And one more. Woo hoo, awesome. Turn towards the chair. Enjoy a little bit more stretch here if you want. And then step back for that downward dog. Waving one more time the spine. Open up that chest. Beautiful, guys. All right, now we're gonna use the other leg. That left foot's go. Oh, that left foot's gonna be forward, a little closer to the chair. Right leg goes back. You're gonna. Oh no, that's that's the leg we already did. Right foot stays. Sorry. Left leg goes back. Open up the chest. 
Warrior three, when you're ready. I'm doing without my hands. You don't have to. But if you feel like you want to challenge yourself today, go ahead. Take a nice long breath. Stay focused, stay with me. Another one. All right, so now we're gonna step all the way on top of that chair. Swing the right toes out. This is gonna turn this way. Swing the toes out. Breathe in. So right knee have a slight bend here. And then if you wanna use your weight to go ahead. And that right hand, open up the chest. I'm gonna sink it and reach up. Hope I don't break another ball. Inhale, exhale. Keep that chest open. Keep that right knee with a little bend. Make sure the knees are going out. Let's take two more. Maybe three more. Feels good. Don't say for you. Last one. All right, bring your weight down. Maybe give a little bit more stretch if it feels amazing. Woo, my quads. All right, go back to that same downward dog. Reach back, stretch in the shoulders. Now drop your knees on the floor. And then we're gonna open up the chest. We're gonna touch one hand, one heel at a time, if you can. Now, when the chair is close by, keep your hips touching or your pubic bone, whatever's touching the chair, stay there, and then trying to touch your heels. We're gonna do four, three, two, one, stay, and reach. Breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Again, one, two, three, four, other side, reach and stay. Another breath. And then hands back to your chair. Oh, our last downward facing chair of the day. All right, loves, now I'm gonna face you. We're gonna sit in our chairs. Maybe I shouldn't so soon, right? Now slide your butt really close to the edge of your chair. Let me turn back this way so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so I have my back supported, my upper back supported. I hope you have a support. If you don't, if you have just this tool, you can go close to the wall, all right? Now lift your toes. If this is completely not possible for you today, keep one foot on the floor. You can do the same thing with just one foot, okay? Now lift both. We're gonna do a circle. We're gonna bring it back. Straight one leg at a time. Circle, back, one leg at a time. Circle, back, stay with your breath. Circle, back, one leg at a time. Circle, breath. Remember the option. One foot can always be down. Two more. One more. Woohoo! Now, a pose that I love doing, but make sure again your chair is really supported. You can bend a little bit the elbow, you can lift your hips and just enjoy that shoulder stretch. Woohoo! Now you learn so much stuff to do in your own house, in your own chair. Maybe for some work break, right? All right, bring your butt back to your chair. Give yourself a hug, yeah. Maybe give some love to your ankle. And another one. All right. Now separate your legs. Remember what we did in the beginning. We're gonna do another time. This time, both fingertips go down. Having the chair supporting here, your inner thighs. And maybe this time you walk your hands forward. See how it feels in your hips. Relax your head. Breathe in and out through your nose. Relaxing the neck. Whatever you can relax in this pose is well appreciated. The body will say thank you. 
Right now, if it feels good, reach that right arm. And then back, and then to the other side, and then back. Now, one hand at a time. So with your arms, you can come back up. Beautiful. Let's do another side stretch. Now that the body's more open, we're gonna kick it up a notch that stretch. We're going to do like a, um, a pigeon here on the chair. You can cross your leg, whatever leg you want to cross, and then you can use that elbow, you can use that hand to drop that further away if there's space, and then the other hand goes to the back of your chair, and this is a leverage for you to go deeper into the twist. Now, you, may, you might look over your right shoulder, you might roll that shoulder down, you might breathe in, another breath, And then bring it back, let's do the other side. So the other leg goes, so the ankle on top of the leg. Again, if this is too much, you can straight one leg. Okay, I know some of you have hip issues. And then the elbow or the hand or the whole forearm can be. And then you use this also to stretch. The, the twist is here, happening here, right in your waist. So use this, I always give the analogy as a towel and then you're trying to take all the uh, water out of that wet towel. As you breathe, look over your left shoulder. And then bring it back. If you have time, if you wanted to do a little Shavasana, you know what to do with the chair, right? So you can use that chair here. One of my favorites. So you can use the chair to relax your legs. If you work too hard, maybe on your feet, or if you sat for so long today, <laughs> you bring your legs up, you relax your legs. I like to let my knees fall, and then maybe the arms are to the sides. And then you take a moment. Now, if it's too early for you to do that, and if you need more stretching, what I recommend to do after what we did today it's just a side twist. You hold the knee, and then you bring to the other side. Another option is to straight that top leg and try to hold your toe or try to hold the back of that leg straight so it gets a little deeper into that outer hip. Okay? And then to the other side, and do the same thing. If you cannot grab your toe, you grab the back of your knee or just the back of your calf and your hold here, letting that foot go down. Taking another nice long inhale, another long exhale. And then bring your feet on top of the chair. Let's give ourselves a hug. Let's also focus on our shoulders a little bit. Now, one arm can be straight, the other hand can help that elbow to get closer to the chest. So we're stretching shoulder, make sure your head is nice and soft. And then let's reach to the other side as your legs are relaxing, belly is relaxing. You can either one of the poses that really serves my shoulders is to have my arms overhead. Now, for me, it serves my shoulders because I have open shoulders. A little old, sometimes a little more open than some people. So, this feels good for me to do. If it doesn't feel good for you, you don't have to do it. Or having some pillows on top, it kind of opens up those areas of your chest. It kind of helps you breathe too, to acknowledge your rib cage and the extension that you have in your sides. And then you can stay here, guys. And then maybe you can stay here for the whole time waiting for some roga, right? I'm gonna do it, I need to stretch my thighs. So you can stay here and maybe do your meditation of the day. Thank you so much for joining me in this evening. Let me see who else showed up that I didn't say hi. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Monica. Hi, Emily. Carlita. Nan, Chrissy. 
Lori, Mui, Connie. Okay, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. And I wish you a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.